Canelo Alvarez has just beaten John Ryder and in this video we will be talking about what are the etiologies of a bleeding nose of John Ryder. So if you are into anatomy and mechanics of sports injuries consider subscribing to this channel and as we can see that it was about fourth and fifth round particularly it was the round where Canelo knocked down John Ryder and it was the right hand that has resulted in the maximum intensity of the blood coming out from John Ryder's nose. After that, we saw John Ryder's corner trying to fix that issue. So before breaking it down a little further, uh, let us have a look at this picture in which we can see there is a depressed portion of John Ryder's nose that is clearly visible. There is obvious concavity of uh, the nasal septum we can see here and uh, this is basically called saddle nose deformity and uh, some of the boxes uh, are being happen to have this deformity due to the extensive facial trauma to their nose and uh, that has resulted into a depressed uh, portion of their nasal septum. So we can suspect two things over here that uh, when Saul Canelo Alvarez was hitting John Ryder's face there was already uh, some kind of deformity, some kind of previous trauma, that uh, previous injury that was already present around this portion and uh, that has resulted in the continuous bleeding that we saw in fourth and fifth round. As the vessels present in the nose are pretty fragile and uh, when there is repeated trauma of this portion, this can result in uh, the rupture of these vessels and can result in the bleeding through this area and the other thing that we can suspect here is the fracture of the nasal bone and as our face is made up of uh, different kind of bones and uh, one of the bones that makes the texture of uh, the nose is called the nasal bone and uh, and to it attaches the nasal septum and uh, if there is a fracture of uh, nasal bone there could also be some kind of bleeding. It is the moment uh, in the fifth round when Canelo Alvarez has uh, threw a right cross that has resulted in the knockdown of uh, uh, John Ryder that might have resulted in a fracture of uh, nasal bone. And it was after the fifth and sixth round where we saw that uh, one of the trainers of uh, John Ryder's was trying to constrict and readjust the nose of uh, John Ryder and to summarize all of this uh, we can suspect that uh, uh, firstly there was already a deformity of the nasal septum that uh, might have uh, very fragile blood vessels and that could not be able to take canelo punches and uh, they ruptured away and that has resulted in the nasal bleeding secondly there could be a fracture of nasal bone that might also have uh, resulted uh, this kind of bleeding from the nose so this is it from this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, if you are into content of sports medicine consider subscribing to this channel